With all of your support and your presence at the 15th annual walk this evening, we are saving lives one step at a time. LifeHack's mission of preventing suicide by teaching young people to recognize the warning signs of suicide in themselves and their peers is crucial, especially today in the age of social media. Working with Life Act has taught me so much about the significance of making a difference and how extremely overlooked the issue of teen suicide is. Sadly, uh, suicide rates for young people continue to increase. In a recent study by the C CDC, suicide rates for children ages 10 to 14 have increased 147% since 2007. It's, it's an alarming statistic. Uh, it's relevant to Life Act. They've started middle school programs along with their countless high school programs. Last year, our team of professional instructors educated nearly 30,000 students, and with those programs, 2,500 students came forward asking for help for themselves or someone they know. We all have defining moments in our lives. For me, it was 4.57 a.m., March 5th, 2005, when the police knocked on my door and told me that my husband, John, had died, and that he had died by suicide. And at that moment, my life and the life of our two children was forever changed. I had learned a lot after John's death about what it was like, what I was going through. I didn't realize it when I was going through it. Living with someone with severe bipolar depression. I had experienced the financial burden, the social and the emotional pain that goes along with it. And all of that made me very aware that the way we deal and the way we look at mental health must change. And I also realized that John and all of our loved ones don't want to be remembered by the way in which they died, but rather by the joy and the happiness that they brought into our lives. And if we can focus on the joy and the happiness, we can heal. And that's why I think that this walk is so important, because there are a thousand of you here tonight and that's a thousand people who are aware and do don't believe there is a stigma and you're not afraid to talk about depression. You're not afraid to talk about suicide. A lot of it has touched your lives and you're not afraid. I hope you won't be afraid when you go back to your classrooms, when you go back to your businesses, when you go back to your families, to be free to talk about it because awareness is the only way. And now whatever way our stories end, I know you have rewritten mine by being my friend. Like a ship boat from its mooring by the wind of the sea, like a sea dropped by a sky bird in a distant wood. Can say if I've been changed for the better, but because I knew you, because I knew you, I have been changed.